Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a TV channel transition in Vegas Pro 16. Now just before we get into this video I'd like to say I am currently giving away three boxed versions of Vegas Pro 16. Shout out to Magix. If you want to enter the giveaway, it's a worldwide giveaway, head over to the description and there will be the video I uploaded last week on all the details how to enter. There's only one week left so definitely be sure to go ahead and enter now. Now as always in my tutorials, I'm going to be showing you two ways. One is going to be using a plugin and another is going to be using no plugins. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16 and the first way I'm going to be showing you is using the plugin. Now the plugin is known as Sapphire Plugins. If you don't have it, a link to it will be in the description. A heads up, this is a paid plugin. So of course you can go ahead and try the trial first. So what we're going to do if you have Sapphire Plugins, head over to Transitions and you're going to be looking for S underscore TV channel change. Pretty self-explanatory what it will do for you. So what we're going to do is drag and drop this in between our two clips. Now this will pop up and to be honest you don't need to change any of these settings. If you want to feel free to, however you don't need to. Now I can X out of this, I'm just going to turn down the preview quality and I'll play this through for you. And just like that, that is now what we have. Notice that was a pretty long transition. So the way you would make it quicker, just zoom into the center. You can see it's currently at 23 frames. Just drag in from one side. And then I also recommend dragging from the other side as well. And let's go there and I'll play it through. There you go, looks a lot better. And of course the final thing you do need for this is the actual sound effect. So I will be providing a link to this in the description. I'm just going to drag and drop it on underneath, sync it up. Bear in mind this is a very loud audio file as you can tell by the waveform. So do I really do recommend you turn it down. And I'll play it through for you now. And there you go. So that's how you do it with a plugin. Now I'll be showing you how to do it without a plugin. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is head over to the description where I'm going to be providing you with a download link. So what you would do is drag and drop this on to your timeline and make sure it is above your videos. Notice it is small but we will be fixing it. So first of all, this is quite a lengthy clip. You get 10 seconds of static. So of course you really don't need it that long and you can shorten it as much as you would like. Now currently this is at 5 seconds and we come across it's just under a second. To be honest, it's still long. You really only want it to make it look good. I'll say you need it at least 20 frames and below. Okay, that's how I'm gonna have it. And it's positioned sort of in the center, but it doesn't matter if you're not completely accurate. What we need to do though is sort out this image, make sure it gets covered the entire screen. So we need to right click our video, select properties. And from here where we wanna uncheck, maintain aspect ratio and select okay. Notice it's spread out, however there are still black bars at the top and the bottom. So a way around this, just head over to the Motion Track tool. Have Sync Cursor unchecked and simply bring this up. As you can see, it gets rid of the black bars. If a keyframe has been created here, just drag it back. So now I'll play it through for you. And this is now what we've just created without any uh, plugins. And again, I do recommend turn down the audio because it is going to be quite loud. As you can see, that's what we get. To be honest, it doesn't look as good as the plugin way. However, this is a way around it and you can get away with using it this way. And of course, if you find a better visual effect, by all means use that as well. But again, this is it without plugins. 